det är för ofta. Thank you. 
space on the left side of the center pole line. Right below it, this is center pole, so on the left side. So let's watch center pole from space and reverse. Make sure they come through now. At the fourth inner crossway, that the left sternal border is put on the tripod grid. And then at the fifth inner crossway on the left side, or the left sternal border, you can make sure they can manage your central and inverter grids for as little as you are asking them for per minute. S1 and S2 were heard, no S3 or S4 is known or emerged. S1 was sensitive and impact and S2 was sensitive and didn't. Um, and then you can talk to space for as long as you feel you want to. Um, hence, on the anterior, I put an E2 on the right lateral. Hmm. I have to get an exhale and exhale on my pinch there. Bilaterally, they are all equal, easy, and unlabored. Um, no gap in tissue sound and light. Um, and then I'm just going to um, assess the alignment of the spine by asking you to lean forward and let it palpate. Okay, the spine is symmetrical, there's no um, abnormal curvature or anything like that. And then you can let it palpate your CVAs for tenderness. Posterior to um, transverse diameter, I see it's just the line, and then you can go to parallel chest or anything like that. So I'm going to ask you to come forward and then lean back so I can um, assess your abdomen and your posture. So I know that I have to inspect first and then ultimately I would request that my left arm mandate a few minutes so that I would um, palpate. So right now, just inspecting, I can see with my contour it's um, flat. It appears to be smooth with no rashes, no adverse lesions, no new scars, nothing that I'm really concerned about, nothing that you're going to hear from me that can cause trauma. Then you're going to um, auscultate all four parallel sides of my body with the left and trim down. I will act as your director for active and passive. Stomach and your spleen, you can turn left, lower quadrant, I know that if I'm concerned with trauma, I'm going to go left or right, and turn it right, lower quadrant, I can find your interesting that you have it taken out for a very sensitive pain. Um, then I'm going to palpate each quadrant, just don't get too tender. Okay, patient states no tenderness, please, and so let's 
I'm checking her neck for JVD, which is um, jugular venous suspension. I don't see any fibroids. So it's um, good. Um, I'm going to answer her for the stuff on her arm. I'm noting her color um, and it's a good state of ethnicity. Um, same color for ethnicity. I'm going to palpate and I feel that they're warm and dry. Her hair distribution, she doesn't have any hair in her legs. The shape. Patient stated that she's shaved. Um, there's no edema or anything like that. No um, patient has um, abnormal or internal bleeding or liver tubular bleeding. <coughs> her posterior tibial closes. And I am able to find them. Shoes so I can touch her dorsalis pedis pulses, which I know I can find on um, the skin down. Okay, so I am able to find them, and they're both of bulk one. Um, you can see from plus one. Okay, now I'm just going to ask that you um, get up and watch that wool for me. Okay, and then I'm noting that her gait is um, straight and it's precise. Um, and then um, she was able to get up and go and I asked her to look at I'm just going to check her around her just to make sure that she's not dizzy or anything. I'm just going to ask her to look that way. Go back to her point. Hands at your side and feet. Close your eyes. And then I would stand here for 20 minutes. I mean, 20 seconds. <laughs> allowing myself to um, put my arms out and make sure that she's safe. So in case she does fall, um, I would be free to touch her. Um, 20, I would say my 20 seconds is up. And she didn't appear... Um, didn't appear to be any more wobbly than I would expect her to, and I would mark her with a negative number test whenever you're asking her any questions. Yeah.